What's up guys? Just picked up some carrots at the farmer's market, but that's not really important right now. Important thing is, I want to explain what's going on in the next few days here. We're doing a 12 days of diehard fishing video series here. Next 12 days, we're going to do a video every single day. Now, I've already filmed a few of them, so it's not like we're fishing and video, or fishing, editing, and uploading every day. I've got a few stock, but I really only got about halfway done, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, but I'm excited to share it with you guys. Anyways, this is the first of 12 videos. Got my first number one fan right here, driving me around. And um, yeah, we'll let the videos do the explaining. All right guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are trout fishing again. Um, I did a, a trout video pretty recently. Um, caught a few trout using grubs. Um, but today I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna try trolling uh, like little jerk baits or rapalas. So I got one on this rod. You can probably see the, see the tip of the rod vibrating. That's my, the action of my Rapala. And then this one, I have another one. A couple of different styles. This is a little jerkbait type thing. Both really small, kind of like a shad pattern or something, you know, some little bait fish. Um, and we're gonna be trying to catch some big trout with these. So, um, uh, yeah, pretty simple. All I'm doing is setting it back. Um, this one I put with no weight and I put a small little, uh, like Carolina, oh, fish just jumped right here. A small little Carolina setup on this one. Um, to try and get it a little bit deeper, just to cover a few different depths. Um, I kind of said in my last video, it's always like a little puzzle trying to figure out. So trying to figure out how deep they are, how fast you want to troll, um, what kind of bait they're looking for. So we're starting off today. Every day could be different, could be totally different than what happened in my last video. And uh, it's going to be totally different because we're, we're trolling different lures this time. So totally different ball game, but I still think we're going to catch some trout. So. Yeah, we got two rods in. Hopefully we get a bite. Oh, look at that. Wow. Slammed it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Did it come off? Oh, I think it came off. Yeah, it came off. Dang it. Well, that was pretty quick. Within the first, like... I don't know, 10 minutes or so. That was on this little jerk bait. I think it's a little jerk bait made by Daiwa. But anyway, we gotta get this back in. That was smoke day. Unfortunately, it came off. That's one thing that I notice fishing lures, like these kind of lures compared to the grubs that I used in my last video is you will get more bites. Well, I don't know, actually, not necessarily more bites, but you do lose your your catch ratio is definitely lower with these lures i think because of the the treble hooks tend i don't know they just tend to work the hooks against each other somehow and and they come off but um but that's okay not all gonna come off so we're gonna get this back and see if we can get another one here that's another thing with lures is that the bite is definitely going to be more violent it's going to be a, a hit and run rather than the the grubs is more kind of like, a, oh, it's on there, do, 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 then it's on. But the grubs is like, bang. It's like they're trying to kill something. We gotta make that happen again. Oh, oh, oh. oh this one just got bumped. There it is, it's coming back for it. Come on. Dang, that one definitely just got hit though. Didn't get the hook. Yeah, at least twice. I didn't, I might have even more, but before I saw it, I don't know. At least twice it, it hit it. We're gonna get one here pretty soon. I can feel it. Yeah. The newest predator. Yeah. And it's like they they would 
capture like oh you see that there it is nice. got him but yes i have seen that movie <laughs> All right, keep this one on. Try to keep it from jumping. Really rough. Man, this took a little while. I got two other bites, like pretty quick. I mean, we're getting quite a few bites. I just couldn't get them to stick. One was just like a little tap, and then the other one. Oh, look at that! Listen to that. That's a good one. Yeah, it's not bad. The other one was on for a couple seconds and came off. So uh, let's see if we can get this one in. I'm still pedaling here just in case I, I can double up. That would be fun. I can see him on my fish finder. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh. Not ready just yet. All right. Come on, little fish. Big fish. Hey, you need help with that fish? No, I'll net it myself. Thank you. Like a real, a real fisherman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice bend. This is so fun. I love this fishing. Yeah, this one pulled drag really good. Yeah, he, he had went, a nice he, fast run. He went on a couple of like good yeah. runs. Oh, he snagged a little bit. That's oh. Nice daddy. Oh, no, no. Come on, fish. Get off. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he came off for a second. Come on, fish. <laughs> one more shake. You got one more left in you. Come on. Oh, another, like, oh, yeah, hook nice jaw. Oh, That's nice. There we go. That's a nice fish. Fat. Okay. There we go. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hook set. That one wasn't gonna come off. Use the pliers. I don't like to mess around with these treble hooks. When a fish flops like that, you're really easy to get one of these hooks in your finger. There's so many options there. All right, so there's fish number one. A big like hook, look you see the hook on the jaw there? That's a, a big male, look at that. Almost like a, a male salmon going up the river. Same thing with the trout. Nice, fat, fat male. So uh, anyway, we got that one, we finally got him. We had two other bites for sure. Um, maybe more that I didn't see, who knows? Um, so they're definitely hitting right now. We gotta get our lines back in, see if we can get another one. So a lot of people have asked me in previous videos how fast I troll. It really just depends. Um, I mean, it's part of the, the puzzle that we're putting together here. So um, I will say like in my last video when I was using grubs, I troll generally slower with the grubs than I would these Rapalas or jerk baits because you need to get a certain amount of speed to get, you know, at least a little bit of action with the jerk bait. So um, anywhere from like half a mile an hour to like, 1.5 miles an hour with the grubs and then with these Rapalas anywhere from like maybe one mile an hour at the slowest up to like I mean you can go three miles an hour I haven't done that yet but um, somewhere in that range just trying to figure out which which cadence um, works best um, in general one thing that I have noticed um, is if you're if you're getting a lot of like short strikes I sometimes like to try slowing down a little bit. So 
I kind of did that on that one. Um, I had a couple of bites. One got hooked. Nothing you could do about that one. But the second one was just like a little tap. And I, you know, in theory, that's just like a, a trout coming by and swinging at the bait. Maybe if I was going a little bit slower, he would have had enough time to grab the full lure. So anyway, nothing's guaranteed, but that was my thinking on that one. So let's see if we can get another one here. These, these bites is way more aggressive than the grub bites. The grubs are just kind of like, oh, you know, swing by and eat it. These is like, we got to get it. Um, and they're, I mean, makes sense. If you're eating a minnow, you got to like chase it down. You, you have like a split second to react. If you're eating like a little grub, which is kind of imitating like a, a little worm, pff, worm's not going to get away. So no need to go crazy on that one. All right, let's get another one. Let's get another one. All right, this time I'm gonna put the, the, the camera on this one. For some reason, every time I put the camera on the other rod, I get a bite on the other one. So let's try it this way this time. Oh, this one just got bit. Oh, there it is. It's on, it's on. Wow, every time I point the camera towards one of the rods, the other rods get bit, gets bit. Another fish? Yeah. My live Apollo? Yeah, this is the one that, same one that you have. <laughs> so literally right before this bit i saw a fish surface on the top and this very well could be the same exact fish that i saw oh there he goes <laughs> this is the first trout i've caught on this rod in a while Oh, look at that. That's why I like using this rod. Oh, look at that. Look at the bend. So the, one good thing about an uh, ultralight rod, even though it's kind of like a finesse game, is you get a nice bend in the rod and that'll allow you to keep pressure on the fish even when it gives you those good head shakes. Um, and that'll help you lose less fish. Well, let's get him in the net. Oh, he's got one hook in him. All right, we got him. There's the lure that did him in right there, a nice little jointed Rapala, just no fancy colors, just black and white on black on the top, white on the bottom. On my super duper ultralight rod. Six pound test all the way through. 500 size reel, super light setup. I wanna hook a big one on this, so TBD. We're gonna see if we can make that happen today. All right, there he is. Second trout of the day, not a huge one, a little bit smaller than the first one, but another solid fish. Put up a good fight on this uh, super light setup. Just burped. All right, we'll put him on the stringer. Oh, there he is again. Oh, all right. We'll put him on the stringer and uh, get back in there. So another trick that I like to use is I'll uh, put this lure in the water next to my kayak and then troll at a certain speed. I, I can see which speed I'm going on my on my GPS right here. So. If I troll, like right now I'm trolling at 1.3, I can see the action. It's pretty good action actually. So this way when I, you know, when my line's back there, I can, I know exactly how my lure is going to look when I'm trolling at 1.3 and then I'll speed up a little bit. That's 1.5, 1 1.7. 1 I can see the different kinds of action that I, I uh, 
that my lure is going to be right here because once it's back there you're not going to know not going to be able to see it but when it's right next to your boat you get a nice little visual on how your lures go look especially if you're using a a new lure it's good to try and do that to make sure you're trolling at the proper speed to give that lure the best action you can do it's different lures perform better at different speeds so anyway let's see if we can get another one here all right i'm gonna put it on this rod this time see if we can get the bite on the camera every time i put it on one rod the other rod gets bit maybe a gopro curse maybe not i don't know Did you guys see that bite? Or that, that fish jump? It's like right there. Maybe you should try surfing the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, in the movies. Oh, hold up. Oh, never mind. Um. Ooh, another one jumped right there. Why aren't they biting my lure? Oh, I'm on. Oh, I just got hit. It's just boiled right there. Literally right there. Oh, when you jump right there. Well, guys, what I was about to say before, that fish just jumped right there. They're taunting me, but anyways, we're gonna wrap it up here. I got a really a lot of short strikes. I think maybe the color or my speed, I don't know, something was just like slightly off to where the fish weren't committing at the bait. Um, but here we got a couple of nice fish. Um, got one on each rod actually. So if you haven't seen my trout setups, these are my two trout setups, both seven foot ultralights. I'll leave all the gear linked in the description. Um, but yeah, got a couple of nice trout. Not too bad for you know, a relaxing day out here on the lake. This is way different than uh, any kind of fishing out on the ocean. It's, there's no swell, hardly any wind. But yeah, just a nice change of pace. Uh, fun to get out here and uh, do something a little different. So look forward to more content like this coming very, very soon. Um, and yeah, we're moving right along with this. 12 videos in 12 days, all fishing, all in the Bay Area. Yeah, we're just getting started. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.